Hi everyone, Bob Thomason here. I wanted to do uh, another update video on C60. Try to do these about once a month, uh, but this one's uh, a little earlier than that. But a, a few things that that I have come across here that have been helpful, and I wanted to share them with you. Now, first of all, before I get into this. Let me give this disclaimer. This video is from my experience only and should not be taken as any sort of medical advice. I'm not a medical professional and offer this as entertainment only. So do your own research before you make any purchase. All right. Starting today, this is Monday, the 23rd of July. I'm going to increase my dosage to three teaspoons a day. We'll see how that affects me. And the way that will work out is I'll take one in the morning, one around noontime, and one in the evening. Now, as I've shown in a video before, the, thing, the, the method that works out best for me is using the uh, this oral syringe I purchased this one that I believe it was Walmart and I can pull up to two teaspoons into this syringe and I found that I it works best if I use a straw and I just so happens that this straw that I already had fits right up snugly on the end of that so I can put that down in the bottle and draw up whatever uh, amount that I need. And then I recently re got an order in from another company, uh, C60 Labs. See that one right there. In a, uh, and interestingly enough, they supply this dropper. So they have the same idea that I do. Not that this is the way you have to do it, but I just like using the dropper and I thought this was pretty neat that they supply you with a dropper uh, you know with each bottle that you get. A little different dropper from what I use but I thought that was pretty neat. Now one other thing that I have noticed uh, and I tried this just here recently is that uh, if I sit outside in the evening, which I do quite a bit, uh, in South Arkansas, we have a lot of mosquitoes. I mean, they spray for mosquitoes, and we still have a lot of mosquitoes. So it's not uncommon for me to get a mosquito bite uh, on my arm, on my hand, something like that. And you know, how, you know how mosquito bite just, at least for me, they itch. They itch, and I just want to scratch them and usually not that bad but what I have done what I've started doing and somebody on the Facebook group suggested this so I thought I would try it is put just a little drop of uh, C60 in one of the one of the oils I have I've done it in uh, using avocado oil because I've heard that avocado oil uh, absorbs a little faster in your skin so whether that's true or not I don't know but that's what I've heard so I just spread a little bit on the the bug bite and lo and behold it'll take but just a, a few moments and it's pretty well gone and you know unless you just keep clawing at it it's gone so that's worked out real well. And, you know, using C60 as a topical treatment for something, uh, you know, is another thing that's another possibility for C60 as well as ingesting it, taking it internally. Now, something else that I have started a couple of weeks ago is that I will skip supplements. I, I take some uh, some high quality uh, supplements every day. I have a little pack of supplements that I get from Melaleuca and I 
take those, that little package, twice a day. And so I do that, and I do the C60 at the same time. And what I'm going to do, or what I've started doing, just try this out. And again, this is something that somebody suggested on the Facebook group, the C60 support group, uh, is to skip taking vitamins or C60 or any supplements like that uh, maybe one day a week. And so I decided, okay, I'll try it for the weekend. I won't take the supplements. I won't take C60. Monday through Friday, five days a week, uh, I do my regimen of taking the C60 and the, the multivitamin. So whether that makes a difference or not, I don't know. I like the idea that it gives your body a chance to rest from any supplementation like that. So uh, it's a change up. But um, back to, you know, say I was increasing the dosage. What I, one of the things that I want to see is if I can get to a dosage that, you know, really makes me feel different. Now, I do think the C60 has helped because I've been taking it almost a year now. started in October of last year. And I do think it has helped in a number of ways, but I want to push the envelope a little bit and see uh, what I get. Also, uh, I have ordered a bottle of C60. I'm going to try this out. I've got a company that's going to uh, produce it, going to add some uh, CBD oil to it. So if any of you are interested in that, I'll be doing a video a little bit later once I get that in, uh, you know, kind of see how that goes. Uh, I've never tried CBD oil before. I've got a friend of mine that swears by it. But, I mean, the whole purpose of all this stuff is to maintain as much health as we possibly can. Uh, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan. I just, you know, I try to eat, try to pay attention to what I eat and listen to what my body says that I'm hungry for, which that has changed over a period of time. But uh, I'm not trying to do any type of special diet or restrictive diet or anything like that for health purposes. So we'll see how this goes. I'll keep you informed. I'll do some more videos on this. And uh, I know this, you know, this makes two videos this month, but hey, I just wanted to share this information. So I hope this helps.